Well, today's uh, travel day. It's granted it's not a very long one, but it's a travel day just the same. And lately, we've had a bunch of questions about how we handle our travel days. Specifically, is there a difference between a short travel day and a long travel day? And the absolute answer is no. We prepare the exact same way for either. Now, granted, you have to remember that anything that's not put away properly, even on a short travel day, is subject to breakage. And, on a short travel day, it's generally in an area that we're aware of, that we know. And we know exactly where the potholes are, and the bad roads are, and the local construction is. So, it's easier for us to avoid that. Not so much on a long travel day. On the longer days, we're dealing with really bad infrastructure. Roads that aren't kept up, uh, potholes that come out of nowhere, uh, chunks of tire or debris on the road, inattentive drivers. <laughs> Too busy answering their cell phone to pay attention to driving on that freeway at 65, 70 miles an hour. We've got a lot of weight behind us when we're driving and our stopping distance shows the difference. So. Yes and no, I guess, might be the answer, but generally, we still pack and prepare the exact same way. We don't want to take a chance. Yes, the person with the Class A that was parked here pulled out, not realizing they were uh, still connected to power. Ooh, that bites. Yep, that pretty much looks like it. Not good. Good morning. Grizz and I are out on our morning walk. And the weather's beautiful. Just been super. The last week has been awesome, but it's gonna be 115 or 120 before too long. So we'll see how well we do. So I've uh, found a box and mail for dogs. <laughs> Just wrap your item up, and drop it into the chute, and it disappears. Dogs love it. Oh look, there's another one of those doggy box and mails. And it's another pretty boy. Good boy. You're so pretty. Some people are completely ready for just about anything. That's awesome. Boy, I'd love to learn how to surf. So it's been about a week since we've uh, done our last project. That was the roof of Infam. And I've pulled the garnish down to take a look at it just to make sure that nothing was uh, done to damage the roof by using acetone for a cleaner. And it looks like it's fine. Um, it's holding just perfectly. Wiring has been done right. So yeah, fantastic. Best part is, is it looks like a brand new rig. This is one of, they say, four dog parks at this particular location. And it's really not that bad. Mm. 
And the best part? It's right across from that RV right there. And the dumpsters are closed too. So nobody likes to go into a new park looking like a slouch. Unless of course it's been raining something horrible and everything just has gotten soaked and messy. So I've already done the wash and wax on this and now I'm gonna go ahead and dress the tires. These are a little harder to get at, but you know what? Usually all I've got to do, because they're so well protected, is wipe down the rims from the splatter from the rain hitting the ground and knocking some dirt back up. All part of the life. Got gotcha, your baby. Okay. 